travelled to Asia after my studies, the north of India was one of my favourite places. India is not an easy place to travel, but I loved the bright colours of the materials and the spices. I loved the food, especially the naan bread. I loved the temples and the palaces, but I didn't love riding on the top of a bus. It was a little scary. I also loved the Indian art. I mean, look at the detail on this picture and on the stone carving that I bought for my mum and dad. Hello and welcome to Smile English Stories, where you can listen to English in lots of different contexts. But you need to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get a notification from YouTube. If I speak too quickly or too slowly, you can change the speed in YouTube. Every autumn, there is a big festival in India. It's called Diwali and Diwali is the festival of light. There are big processions through the streets. I went to Diwali in Calcutta and I remember the fireworks in the streets. It was a little bit scary. And I remember eating delicious yellow sweets. So today I am going to tell you the story of why the Indians celebrate Diwali. A very long time ago, in the north of ancient India, in about 5000 BC, that means before Christ, a very long poem was written. It was the story of Rama and his beautiful wife, Sita. And the poem's name was the Ramayana. So this is my version of the story. There was a king, a great king. And in India, Great kings are called Maharajas. Now kings have kingdoms and this great king lived in a beautiful palace in the kingdom of Ayodha. Ayodha is in the very north of India. It's not far from Nepal not far from the Nepalese border. And in Ayodha, the weather is quite hot. And there are two seasons, the rainy season and the dry season, when the sun is always out. But if you go to Ayodha in the rainy season, it's a little bit cooler in the evenings, so you might need something a little warmer in your suitcase. The great king, the Maharaja, had three wives. And his first wife was the mother of Rama, Prince Rama. His second wife had two sons and his third wife, who was the queen of Ayodha, she had one son, Bharata. Prince Rama 
was a very good looking prince. And Prince Rama was good at archery. And he often did archery competitions. One day he did an archery competition in another kingdom, not in Ayoda, in another kingdom. And there was a beautiful princess in the other kingdom. Her name was Sita. Sita and Rama fell in love and got married and Sita came back to Ayoda with Rama, with Prince Rama. They were very happy in the kingdom of Ayoda. But the great king was getting older and he wanted to retire. He didn't want to work anymore. So he decided that Rama should be the next king because Prince Rama was his first son, his oldest son. But there was a big problem because the queen, she wasn't happy. She was jealous. She wanted her son, Bharata, to be king, not Rama. And the queen had a lot of power. She had a lot of power over the king. So she said that Rama should be sent away, banished, bye-bye. Oh, really? For not one year, but 14 years. That's a long time. The queen said that Rama and Sita should go to the forest. The forest was not in the kingdom of Ayoda. The forest was outside of the kingdom, a long way from Ayoda. Rama was the oldest prince. And Rama had three younger brothers. And the oldest of the three was Lakshmana. And Lakshmana and Rama were good friends. So Lakshmana said to Rama, Rama, you should not go to the forest alone. I am going to come with you. So Rama and Sita and Lakshmana left Ayoda and went to the forest. Bye bye. And they had a good life in the forest. They lived in a little cottage, not in a big palace. They lived simply and they had a calm, peaceful, relaxing life. But there was another king and he was not an ordinary king, not a Maharaja. He was a demon king and his name was Ravana. Ravana had ten heads and he was the king of Lanka. Today, Lanka is called Sri Lanka. Ravana had 
a sister and her name was Shurpanaka. And Shurpanaka was a demon too. She had a great power. She could change. She could change shape. One day she might be a tiger. <sighs> the next day she might be a snake. The next day she might be an elephant. <coughs> but Shore Panaka wanted a man. Rama and Lachmana were hunters. They liked hunting in the forest with their bows and arrows. And one day they were in the forest and they were hunting. Sita was back in the house in the little cottage. Shopanaka liked travelling and one day she was visiting the forest. Suddenly she saw the two men in the forest. The two good-looking men in the forest. So she changed into a beautiful woman and she decided to try and seduce the two good-looking men. So she started to sing and she started to do a very sexy dance. But Rama and Lakshmana didn't want to be seduced. They refused to be seduced. Sure, Panaka was not happy. She was angry. She liked getting her own way. So she changed back into a demoness. And she said, I am going to kill Sita. Lakshmana said, no, you are not going to kill my brother's wife. And Lakshmana cut her ear and her nose off, but not with a pair of scissors with a knife. Sure, Panaka ran away from the forest quickly and she went to see her brother, Ravana. Ravana, the demon king, was not happy. He was extremely angry and he said, I am going to kidnap Sita. Ravana had a cousin and his cousin's name was Marisha. Marisha had special powers too. He could change into different things. One day he was a jaguar, the next day he was a monkey. So Ravana had a plan to kidnap Sita. First, he changed into a poor man, a man with no money. And then his cousin Marisha changed into a deer, not an ordinary deer, a golden deer. And Ravana sent Marisha to the forest near the cottage where Sita and Rama lived. The golden deer looked at Sita and when Sita saw the golden deer 
she thought it was very beautiful and she wanted the deer. So she said to Rama, Rama, my darling husband, go and catch the deer for me. It's so beautiful. Rama said to Sita, but Sita, it might be a plan of Ravana. It might be Ravana's revenge. I think it's too dangerous. I hope you are enjoying the story so far. If you are, give me a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And I'll see you next time to see what happens to Rama in the forest. Bye for now.